Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, things aren't always what they seem. You remember that Saul Alvarez, Alfredo Angulo fight? You remember how bad Angulo looked? Right? Here's a guy who's one of the most aggressive in the sport. Typically, Angulo, prime Angulo, comes forward, is hunting you down. Guys like Erislandi Lara are fleeing, don't want to deal with him. The uh, aggression is such that it wilts opponents, right? Gabe Rosado. Then, of course, you see the Canelo fight involving Alfredo Angulo, and Angulo looks disinterested. He looks sluggish. He's not himself. People like Juan Manuel Marquez on his boxing show said, hey, this is an Alfredo Angulo, right? Angulo ultimately ends up getting stopped. Well, let me say, you know, there's such a thing as catching a guy at the right time. You get his name on your resume, but you know that you didn't catch the guy on his A-game. You didn't catch the guy ready. Now, years ago, Sugar Ray Leonard lost to Roberto Duran, who then ballooned up to north of the 170s, right? According to folklore, Ray Leonard's people, Mike Trainer, who was working with him at the time, saw Duran was badly overweight and then decided to offer Duran a lot of money provided that the fight take place in a short period of time. Right? The idea was that Duran would have to spend his training camp losing weight, not learning skills, not sharpening skills. Right? In the sauna, not in the ring, sharpening his game. Well, guess what? The next fight is the infamous No Moss fight, right? If you look at a film of that fight, Ray looks good, but really he's doing a lot more posing than boxing, right? It's Roberto Duran, and by the way, Duran wins some of those rounds, but it's Roberto Duran who doesn't look like Roberto Duran, right? The weight loss is evident. He did everything he could to make weight. Unfortunately, there was a fight after the weigh-in. Right? He wasn't ready for the fight. Right? Let's talk about Canelo. His people have wisely picked James Kirkland. Now, let me just say that if the rumors are true, and ESPN's Dan Rayfield has reported that Kirkland, in late January, weighed close to 200 pounds, Right? If the rumors are true, and Kirkland, in a matter of months, has to lose 45 pounds, he's in a whole lot of trouble, isn't he? Right? Not that Canelo keeps himself in shape between fights, but who gets out of shape like this? Well, now we get the coup de grace. Apparently, Kirkland's not going to be using his regular trainer, Ann Wolf. Right? The trainer who was with him when he beat Alfredo Angulo, when Alfredo Angulo looked like Alfredo Angulo. Right? You're going to get some other trainer in his corner. You got to be kidding me. Biggest fight of Kirkland's career, and we're on plan B in the corner. Biggest fight of Kirkland's career, and he has to lose dozens of pounds just to make weight? When you see a situation like this, right, especially when we're talking about a big hitter like Saul Alvarez, but a guy who has had problems in fights, right? Keep in mind, Miguel Cotto's brother, not even the top Cotto in the family, Miguel Cotto's brother, Almost had Canelo out early, right? Alfonso Gomez, I'll tell you what, those first few rounds against Canelo were an adventure. When you see a situation like this, where 
A guy has to lose, right, 25% of his body mass. And he's fighting a guy with a big punch who isn't defensively blessed either. In Saul Alvarez, I think the play is to pick that this fight doesn't go the distance. Right? Forget the past films you've seen on these guys. Forget the fact that certain fighters have gone the distance against Saul Alvarez, right? Shane Mosley went the distance against Saul Alvarez. Everslandy Lara went the distance against Saul Alvarez. Let casual fans worry about that. You know James Kirkland's not going to be in shape to go the distance against Saul Alvarez. And that's going to cut both ways because James Kirkland knows he won't be in shape to go the distance against Saul Alvarez. So he's going to have to go kamikaze. He's going to have to come in the ring and just throw caution to the wind. So, based on what I'm hearing in terms of the conditions of the fighters, I don't see how this James Kirkland Saul Alvarez fight goes the distance. I just don't. I think Kirkland's going to be spending a lot of time trying to lose a lot of weight. I think Saul Alvarez is going to come in the ring knowing that James Kirkland's not going to be ready. Right? I think Kirkland's going to come in the ring thinking, hey, at least I fight three minutes of every round. Saul Alvarez takes off half a round. So Kirkland's going to try to push the issue. Just expect a stoppage. Don't equate this fight with Carlos Molina against Kirkland, right? Defensive Wizard against Kirkland. That fight went several rounds, right? Don't equate this fight with Erislandi Lara against Canelo. Right? Laura came in in shape. James Kirkland is not. Right? Now that I have more info, I just don't see how the fight goes the distance. This is going to end inside of the distance. But make no mistake, Kirkland's been out of the ring for a very long time. The James Kirkland who's going to be fighting Saul Alvarez is not prime James Kirkland. In my opinion, Canelo is now overrated as a fighter. Right? You cannot look at his resume and think that he fought prime Alfredo Angulo or that he's going to fight prime James Kirkland. And let's be real here. You know, I still think in my heart that Everslandy Lara beat him. At a minimum, that fight was competitive. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and on Roku at Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Thanks for stopping by.